Thank you, Mr. Chairman um, and the ranking member with whom I serve on the Veterans Committee. Um, this is very, it's a very important effort that, that Senator Thune, Senator Webb, myself and others are making here, the so-called um, Frank Buckles World War I Memorial Act. Um, I'm especially proud to introduce Mr. Buckles and with the committee's permission after, I understand the committee will allow him to say a word. Um, his daughter, Suzanne, as you pointed out, is here. She's integral to his life. I've been to his house um, and walk it with awe through his library to see books written in Chinese and German and French and Spanish, all of which he uh, spoke at one time or another and probably still does. Extraordinarily, not just patriotic, but uh, educated and um, visionary patriot. Um, I think it's really important that we have this memorial. I recognize there are others that uh, have their views, but this is, this is Washington, D.C. Uh, this would not be the creation of a new mall. It would be the rededication of a mall, of a, of a memorial um, that uh, Herbert Hoover dedicated for those who uh, it served in World War I, but it's never really gone over to the full veteran side of matters as have, is the case with some others that just honor those who, who died in World War I. There's wounds from World War I were often not very well treated. And uh, so that Frank Buckles is, is not here today just to share his remarkable story of valor um, and his own historic nature, but also as chairman of the World War I Memorial Foundation. Um, it doesn't, it, to me, Washington is the capital of the nation. It's the center point of the, of the spiritual value. Uh, some could say that Congress doesn't always present all of those spiritual values in the most admirable way, but uh, in terms of our fighting soldiers and our great moments in history and our great patriots, this is the center and this is where uh, they deserve uh, to be honored. I honestly believe and strongly believe that our nation owes a tremendous debt more than 4.3 million Americans who, like Frank Buckles, uh, offered to go to service uh, for a period of four years. And um, so I strongly support uh, Senator Thune, Senator Webb's, my proposal to, um, to have that firmly established, not just for the dead, but also for the survivors, of whom there is only one, and he is with us in this room. And... Um, at the conclusion of the other two members' presentation, I would ask, uh, hope that I could ask Mr. Buckles to say a word. I thank the chair.